Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to our second interesting comparison between Android N and Windows 10 Mobile Redstone. This is Nexus 5X and it is running the Android N Developer Preview Build 3 which is the latest from Google. And this is Lumia 640XL and it runs the Windows 10 Mobile Redstone Build 14361 that Microsoft has pushed yesterday to uh, insiders. So both the devices are running their respective OSs and the latest version of their respective OSs. So uh, here in this video, we will compare the UI navigation. We will also compare the notification centers. And finally, we will also compare the multitasking part, the multitasking UI and how the multitasking uh, I mean happens or is done on both the OSs. So let's begin with the navigation part. So when you see uh, when you talk about the navigation as we have demoed or compared in our last video where we compared the lock screen UI and the home screen UI between the two uh, OSs we saw that for in case of Windows 10 Mobile it's uh, like only two home screens app list and the I mean uh, main home screen in case of Android, it's not limited. You have a main home screen, but you can have many more. Now, coming to the on-screen button navigation, there are three on-screen touch buttons on both. So this is back, this is a Windows, which is a home button, and this is search in case of Windows 10 Mobile. In case of Android N, it's back, then home, and then a, a app overview or multitasking UI. So let's just see, I mean, what, what the... What it generally does so let's say we opened an app it's the store here also we open the store now back button on windows 10 mobile will uh, close it in case of android n it would not close but rather it will send it to suspension but in case of windows 10 mobile the store will get back actually Uh, the middle one the middle button serves the same purpose on both the uh, I mean both Windows 10 mobile and Android and it just brings you back to the home screen in case of uh, as we said in case of Android and the back button serves the purpose of navigating back from any app but in case of Windows like you will once you are back to the home screen then you keep tapping on this it does not do anything basically but in case of windows 10 mobile if you keep tapping on this it will close the apps it will take you back okay it also does a purpose that if you double tap on this it will uh, double tap lock so you keep on tapping and it will uh, take you back so let's say if you begin from any of the app so tapping back will take you back to that app or uh, i mean in the same order in which you have navigated so this is a bit of difference between the functions of these back buttons so on android and this is just for navigating back in case of windows 10 mobile not only for uh, navigating back but also it closes the apps if you keep it keep keep tapping on the back button also if you tap and hold it will take you to the multitasking ui so this is the multitasking ui of windows 10 mobile but in case of uh, Android N, you have a dedicated app over your multitasking button. So tapping on that takes you to the multitasking UI. Now, you can see the difference between the multitasking UIs here. Both are card based, but in case of Windows 10 Mobile, it's a traditional kind of, you know, ad where the cards are adjacently placed to each other. In case of Android N, you can see the swipeable card menu. Here also, by swiping down, you can close an app in case of Windows 10 Mobile. In case of Android N, you can swipe to right to close it. from the multitasking UI, it resumes, I mean, there's a fast resume of app, so it will resume fast here. In case of also Windows 10 Mobile Redstone, it resumes fast. So this is how the navigation 
looks like or how the navigation happens on both the devices if you are i mean willing to know what this search button does on windows 10 mobile so tapping on this brings cortana the voice assistant in case of android n for bringing the voice assistant either you have to say okay google or you can just tap on this okay so this is how the navigation uh, i mean compares on both the devices the on screen button navigation the back button on windows 10 mobile has uh, got more functions to perform the middle one does the i mean usually they have the same function to bring you back to the home screen but in case of windows 10 mobile if you long press on it it slices down the home screen or it slices down the whole screen so that you can manage to do things easily here it takes you to the google now on search i mean the third button is quite different on both the devices it takes you to the cortana on windows 10 mobile it takes you to the multitasking ui for going to multitasking ui on windows 10 mobile you have to long press the multitasking ui is different and even how you uh, close the app is quite different i mean it is similar that in the way that you can just tap on this close cross sign and you will get closed but if you want to swipe to close you have to swipe right to close on android n and swipe down to close on windows 10 mobile so this is this was about navigation coming to how the notifications compare or notification screen compares so you can see that if from here from top you have to swipe down to reveal the navigation center in case of windows 10 mobile it, it lists all the uh, i mean the notification under the particular group so it's like whatsapp notification twitter notification here in case also in case of uh, android n and particularly with android n they have gr started grouping the notification so under the whatsapp you see the notification the notification ui looks quite different in both if you compare you have an option of setting uh, the system wide dark mode or white mode in case of right, windows 10 mobile and here even if the i mean if the notification is like has a white background here you can see this clear all option is uh, at i mean it's like at the bottom and while in case of it is on the top now uh, when you see that this quick action button so you will see only one line when you have expanded the action center first time the same happens in case of android n now if you do it again in both the cases it reveals the entire set of quick action buttons again the ui is very different it's more like icons here it's more like uh, i mean uh, small tiles because it's a tile uh, based ui the windows 10 mobile so even the action center looks like the same so this is how the action center or notification center between the two devices differ they have purpose they serve the same purpose the navigation wise ui wise they look quite different actually now it is again i mean it's the personal preference that which one you would like but both serve their purpose very well you can see that in case of like android n i mean there are like more uh, navigation options available so not only you can navigate down you can navigate down with both windows 10 mobile as well but you cannot swipe to right or left to reveal more action button but here you can actually choose in case of you can go and customize which action button you want to see here also you can do that so here the customization is possible right from here but in case of 
Windows 10 mobile you need to go to the settings and you can do that so you can go to this setting notifications and actions and you can do it now let's just quickly check how the settings UI looks like or compares to each other so this is the settings UI in case of Android and here you can see in case of Windows 10 mobile so now the I mean this is the main screen for the settings in case of both the OS's So while in case of Android and you can see the major categories also reveal I mean the, but these are uh, the major categories like wireless and network would not have an icon and uh, the subcategories or sub settings are I mean revealed even on the main page but in case of Windows 10 mobile you will only see the main settings or major settings here tapping on any of them will take you to the sub settings. So somehow you can see that Windows 10 mobile settings looks uh, more organized though you can do both the things here but in case of Android and there are too many settings actually <laughs> there are too many things that you can do basically. But this is in a nutshell the UI part. There is one more thing that I wanted to highlight and that is the landscape support for the home screen in case of Android N. This has been a I mean long uh, I mean this has been a demand for quite long on case in case of Windows 10 mobile in case of Windows 10 mobile you it don't have a landscape home screen so it works only in the portrait mode. But if you go to settings etc they, they are available they can be now accessed in landscape mode as well now so this is how the navigation the notification center or action center compares on both the devices we also saw how the multitasking ui looks like and how it compares how you can close the apps on both the OSS. So with that we come to end of this video. Uh, we don't really want to make it quite long but it can I mean become quite quite long for you but we really uh, I mean want to keep it short and we will bring more videos in this series of Android N versus Windows 10 mobile results comparison. So stay tuned for more. Keep watching and thanks a lot.